Alhamdulillah, the barakah of these awliyaullah, that they are from the people of the world of light. And all their teaching is to take us to a much higher level of understanding. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Wa atiya Allah atiya Rasul wa ulil amri minkum, Wa ana abduk la ajeesa ta'eefa, miskeen wa zalim wa jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that I am still in existence, we took a path in which to be nothing and then Allah send us into His oceans of rahmah. And when Allah described that there are 19 guarding, means only Allah come into our life and describe that when Sayyidina Muhammad was going for his Wal Miraj and he came upon beyond Haq the lotree tree in which he saw the tree of life. And from this tree of life he saw four streams and these streams were flowing down and as Sayyidina Jibra'il as an adab they report like that but these are all the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad That these four streams they were the source of the kawthar and Allah has given to you this kawthar. And they say the kawthar kathiran means beyond a lot, beyond imagination of what we can imagine of the bounty of what Allah want to give, the kawthar is higher that Allah gave, inna atainaka al kawthar. They come into our life like these little tasbihs and put a string so that we understand all its teachings, that these 19 letters of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, they're under the dress of Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussain. They guard and they are the keys of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And when they say, Ya Hamid that the whole of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is in the reality of the hamd of Sayyidina Muhammad So he's the flag of all this reality. So Hamid is above. Bismi has to do with the secret of Imam Ali In the name of Allah Most High, in Allah's highest name He named Imam Ali so the secret of bi ismi, because these four streams that Prophet saw, he saw from the meme of bi ismi, the hidayat of the hay of Allah the ha of Rahman and the ha of Rahim. No, the meme. The meme of Rahman and the meme of Rahim. My of Bismi was the river of water, the secret of life. From the hair of Allah was Halim and the, the secret of milk and knowledges and hidayat that comes. From the, the hay of Halim was coming, from Rahman and from Rahim. From Rahman was the fountain of sharab, the wine, the nectar, the wealth of the mulk. And then from the meme of Rahim was coming the fountain of honey. So water milk, wine and honey. Not wine because we don't have wine in that reality, it's a sharab, a nectar that's not fermented and not meant to be fermented to be alcohol. The sharab is a nectar. So back home we would put the sharab and mix with water. Take like the plum juice, nectar juice, you take all of it out, become very, very sweet, you mix it with water. The sharab of grapes represented the rizq and sustenance for dunya. Rahman is for dunya, Rahim is for akhirah. 
under these four streams flowing into the kawthar, making up the kawthar. And awliyaullah come and teach us that these name of Sayyidina Muhammad which is the crown of why Allah created creation. That all of Holy Qur'an in 30 juz, 30 juz in Fatiha, all of Fatiha in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Means all this reality of light and the world of light is all from Nur Muhammad everything. Everything is in this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything is being created from that light. When we really understand then we understand the importance of these nights. They're not something small because when you're taught by the people of Malakut they want to bring the reality of what we're doing and the importance of what we're doing. Means these four rivers are coming from that reality. Then they come back and describe the basbi is a secret of Sayyidina Ali Salaam. Allahu al-Khaliq is given a secret to Sayyidina Fatima to Zari Salaam because that every, every creation that comes into existence is by a secret. Every womb that brings a child is by a secret. That secret from Allah given to Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet gave that secret its responsibility to Sayyidina Fatima to Zari So she holds with Al-Batul the secrets of Holy Qur'an, lights of Holy Qur'an that Allahu al-Khaliq that nothing creates but Allah but its seer and its secret is given to Sayyidina Fatima to Zari Ya Rahman Abu Haqqa Sayyidina Al-Hasan that fi dunya hasana wa akhira hasana wa kin adhab nar is that every blessing of Sifat al Rahman, which is the ocean of mulk, everything that manifesting is from this attribute of Rahman. Its authority is Imam al Hasan. Then Sifat al Rahim, which is the akhirah, that it's the secret of the hayat and yaqeen. Because it has the high Muhammad Rahai Mim means this ocean of hayat is in Rahim and its secret with Imam al Hussein Sayyid al Shahada. He represents the secret of that reality. Then they come and teach that if the fountain is holding all those secrets from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. What do you think is higher, a body of water or the soul of these Ahlul Bayt? We're not understanding. So when Allah's teaching, He teaches in a reference for you to understand in this world because you have no reference point in the world of light, you don't know what they're talking about. But those who are coming from the world of light, they come back to earth and teach you, oh, oh the, <laughs> the soul is actually the source of that water. The water is not holy but the soul in which it's flowing from and manifesting is what Allah holds high. The honour and magnificence of Allah is in the light that He created. This light of Nabi Muhammad that everything is flowing from it. Its secret is in Ahl Khisas that he put them under his banner to show that this whole reality of creation is flowing from their souls. Just you think about that, <laughs> it's unimaginable. You think the rocks of the Kaaba are holy but they come and tell you, no. The soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is holy. Why do you kiss the rock but you don't kiss Prophet Why do you make tawaf around the rock but you don't make tawaf around Prophet Which is holier, the rocks in my backyard or the shaykh? We say it many times we don't know if anybody's even hearing. Shaykh, I'd like to come because you're a holy guy, I want to come to your backyard and collect all the rocks in your backyard. Would it be nicer just to come say hello to me? 
So no, I want to get the rocks in your backyard. <laughs> Something's off. So then they keep telling, oh, these rocks are only holy because the tajalli of Sayyidina Muhammad is there. When Allah is describing, inna attainaka al kawthar, I gave you Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussain, the reality of what I put into their souls that is your kawthar. And from every reality going to be coming out from that souls and from their lives. Inna attainaka al kawthar, fasalli li rabbika wa And your whole life will be sacrifice and pray unto your Lord and their souls will be the symbol of sacrifice and praying unto Allah in which they led a life not by philosophy but by example. This nothing to do with what Allah gave to the holy companions, that's a different talk on a different night. Because as soon as you say, Imam Ali Salaam, ten people are going to start logging in and saying, what about the companions? This is a different, every, every night in Tajalli has a different reality. But what Allah gave to their souls of a reality of a light is beyond imagination, they live the life of example in which they sacrifice themselves for the nation and for all of creation because all of creation is under the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah So when Allah describing in Atainaka al kawthar I gave you the reality of their souls. That's why he said, we see this fountain in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Actually, that Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is the secret of their holy souls. And from their souls, these attributes are dressing upon that reality. From their souls are these fountains that are gushing down. And when we take from that fountain, we're taking from Allah's ni'mat that He dressed upon their souls. And that's why we call these big Ahlul Bayt kawthari. When they were coming to kill Imam Hussain Salam, he says, you don't know what you're doing. You're going to be taking the kawthar from my hand in paradise. And in this dunya you want to stop me from water? He said at the end, right before he was going to lay his life down, he said, we all died in a state of thirst but don't think water is under your command. He kicked the ground and the water flowed up from the earth. These are the owners of the holy kawthar. You can keep them from drinking but they are ayat as sabr If Allah didn't order it, they are not going to use their power to bring it and they want to show the level of sabr. What no Prophet could complete, they completed. When Sayyidina Ibrahim was scared for his sacrifice, Imam Hussain completed his sacrifice and brought all his family to Allah's will. Because these are not small. These are not small nights. When we sit and remember their lives, make these zikrs, make these salawats, make these mafils, Allah is sending their souls to give us a salam. Even some no mind people say, why you say alayhi salam when Allah is even describing salamun hiya hatta mitra al fajr. Any, any bozo who prays fajr is going to receive salams. Hello, you don't think Allah gave these holy souls salam? If they have no salam we're dead, we're burned, we're in fire. We're relying on their salam, we're relying on Allah's ni'mat and blessings upon their souls. And when we gather for one rice, for one water, for one nasheed, for one nata sharif, their souls come and they dress us, they give us salams back. And awliyaullah want to know what salams they're giving back is the kawthar. They're dressing us from Holy Qur'an, they're dressing us from the Holy Kawthar, they're dressing us from all these realities and Prophet wanted us to be dressed by these. When we understand and, and love that reality, everything flourishes within the heart and the soul, it's not hard to love. It's just the nafs wants to block everything. Why you say salams? Why you gather? Why you have to respect? Why not? It expands the heart, love. And what Prophet described of Imam Hussain is that many women. Al Hussain minni wa ana min al Hussain. That Imam Hussain is from me. 
Because later you would find out that all creation is from Sayyidina Muhammad and he was directing us to a special secret that is from me and within him you'll find me. Oh, wasn't this the inheritance of what Allah asked us? قُلِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُوْهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَتَبِيُونَ يُوْهِبُكُمْ Allah. And Allah described, I'm a hidden treasure and I want to be known. We've said this many times for our group here, I'm a hidden treasure, I want to be known. As soon as you love Sayyidina Muhammad Allah then asks you in your heart, did you know me yet? Why are you looking for me? In your friends and imams and shaykhs? Did you find me in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Did you find this khuluqul azim? Allah is describing Himself. Khuluqul azim, did you find this magnificent character? Did you find this Rasul Kareem? Did you find all these beauties? I was a hidden treasure, did you find me? Means ashiqeen, when they have an extreme love for Prophet Allah reveals Himself, this is me, this is my reflection of whom this reality. I was a hidden treasure, I want to be known, I want to be known through who? Through Muhammadun Rasulullah And what the Prophet is giving for an inheritance back, Prophet is asking same question, did you find me? Because if you're looking for me, you'll find it in the example of Imam Hussain All the Prophets were a reflection of the Muhammadan reality. They carried an attribute from Prophet and his describing Imam Hussain is, is from my light. If you love me, if you really love me, you should have loved him. So how is it they, they debate that it's not necessary and it doesn't matter that somebody came and slaughtered him and 72 of his family, it's like any other day? I don't think you have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad It can't be because with the love of Prophet he directs you to love them. As soon as you love Imam Hussain you're seeing Prophet You see his light there, I was there in that field. When the other side was calling azan and killing us, I was there when they were doing that. They exhibited every hasad and bad characteristic that it's my light that did that, that had that chivalry, that had that immense uh, belief. You would have found my light in that love, that's why this Love is so important, this love directs us. As soon as we love Imam Hussain, why they cry? It's because they feel the light of Sayyidina Muhammad But how could that happen? Because every, every companion, every Ahlul Bayt of this reality, every one of these awliyaullah, they are the reflections of Sayyidina Muhammad They carry a Muhammadan light, if they do good, that light, it grows. If they sin, it's from shaitan and not from the reality of that light. But as that light becomes calm and more and more perfected, the light that they're attracted to is the Muhammadan light where Allah describes feekum that He is most definitely with you and amongst you. It's the Nur Muhammad shahidan mubashiran wa nadiran. He's shahidan through the hearts of those whom love Him, He's in their hearts. He sees through their eyes, he hears through their ears, he breathes through their breath and he speaks through their tongue. Then how dare you fight against them, yell at them, scream at them and mistreat them? You have mistreated Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why we said before tariqah only comes to teach adab because you're in the danger of the presence of that light. They don't teach other courses. They teach manners, the manners you have is most important because the one who's going to be reflecting, he's reflecting a Muhammadan light. Imagine if you eat with them, drink with them, pray with them and accompany them. There is no off time where I can be rude on this time and polite on this time. 
every moment in their presence is a Muhammadan light and that blessing and that's what Prophet wanted to describe that he's from my light, be careful on what you're doing to him when he told his companions and told the community that he's from my light. And in him you should see my reality, a very deep reality that coming from Sifat al-Rahim and he has an immense yaqeen and that he is going to be dressed with Sayyidah Shuhada that no awliyaullah can reach Ahlul Basira without Imam Hussain signing. And there are some who are reflecting that light upon the earth, he must sign their certificate, teach them how to see and sign their certificate of vision. So these are huge. And then what Prophet gave the, the big secret and I'm going to be coming from his light. I'm going to be, I'm from his light. That would be a secret for the last days because that light that coming all the way to Sayyidina Mahdi the most common Muhammadan light that will be appearing on earth in which Prophet described his mother's name, my mother's name, his father's name, my father's name. That's when that reality comes. When Prophet is describing that Imam Hussain from me and I am from him. Means this Muhammadan representative coming is the closest reflection to my entire being. So much so that when Sayyidina Mahdi comes on the Jummah that they're supposed to pray, when Sayyidina Isa arrives, Sayyidina Isa stands back because he sees the reality of Sayyidina Mahdi the reality of that hadith of Prophet At that time everyone is waiting to kiss the hand of Sayyidina Mahdi so that Allah says, today I completed your faith. You saw that reality, that reality to dress you, to bless you and complete your complete Islam, your iman with maqam al-ihsan. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding of the world of light. That world of light is the power of this mulk. This mulk has no power. Its powers inside, the inside controls the outside. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.